Hi and welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial we will create winter hat. All materials what you need for this brush you can order from my shop. I will leave link below this video. In case if I will run out of exactly same materials or pom-poms you always can contact me for colors what I have in stock and maybe I just can replace um, color of the pom-pom and some crystals like this uh, preciosa crystals and uh, small uh, bikon crystals as well so if you find out that uh, I run off the stock of materials for this brush just contact me and we can discuss how I can replace it as well with seed beads for for the edge uh, first kids will go with the same seed beads uh, I have uh, now used here but maybe eventually I will replace them with clear seed beads like I have here in this pink hat here is just clear seed beads and here is a bit of with bluish or as well you can contact me and maybe you want uh, other color of the seed beads or any other materials but if you have everything in stock by yourself enjoy this tutorial and I'm sure on this uh, upcoming Christmas and New Year there will be a lot of beautiful winter hats on your jacket here what you will get if you buy a kit uh, from my shop you will get basically everything you need to create our head brush only what you will need you will need scissors glue and pen or uh, pencil to to put our pattern to the felt you will get this kind of big felt packing for your brush paper four two needles threads and filler big elements what you will need to use for our brush preciosa pearls freshwater pearls crystals metal pin and metal leaf for inside then soft metal wire and hard metal wire seed beads and crystals crystals i put more crystals for you it might be even uh, enough for two brushes these are semi-precious stones like zircon and aquamarine in this kit you will have everything to make your perfect brush let's start this felt is not so thick as I use uh, in my other tutorials because I wanted to make this hat very light as when embroidery will be ready I will put inside this metal leaf you can put metal wire inside and like that it will be harder to bend but still this brush will stay light first of all as usually we do we have to circle our pattern to the felt you can do so using or silver pen or pencil place it a bit more to the beginning of the felt as here will be our four so we have to have a bit more space As well, I will mark here where will be my line and we need as well to mark where will be our middle. This way. If you are not uh, sure where is the middle, you can use a ruler and then just find the middle and make a line. We check that our sizes are good. And we start our embroidery take a needle and thread we will work with single thread don't take long thread make it around one meter make a knot and secure our thread in the middle If you are a beginner in bead embroidery and you would like to start and finish project and have a great result, this tutorial I think will be really nice for you as well as you can make a handmade gifts for your friends. As you can see I pass with my thread 
to the middle here. We will start to work with metal wire. You need to open it a bit, just stretch it. And we sew it on. In the beginning we secure it by passing a couple of times through the, through the beginning, through the same spot. We start this uh, brush from top part as this part will be hidden behind pom pom. Follow the lines. When it's needed, bend carefully this wire that it goes directly to our line. Here in the angle, help yourself with pliers or with scissors, you just hold and bend this way. And continue to sew on our hard metal wire. Try to sew on metal wire almost in between every spiral. You can skip two or three of them and then sew on again. As if you will skip too much, it will show that your wire is not attached to the felt correctly. Cut extra wire if necessary. A bit more. And make a couple of stitches in the end to the same spot. and as well through the beginning of the wire. Take a pliers and press wire to the felt that it is smooth. As I told you before, this part will be hidden behind our pom-pom. Secure this thread, cut it and take a new one, as well single thread. Mm -hmm. 
make a knot and secure the thread inside our embroidery. Now we will need to make padding with a bit of felt and filler. I will measure I need to make it smaller. You as well have to measure how much you actually need. You have to have around 2 millimeters from this side and from this side as well. And round up edges and I need to make it thinner because I want to see my line which is here this way even a bit more I think I will need to cut Now I will sew it on to my embroidery. I will leave this part open, then I will fill it in with the filler and I will close it as well. I will start from this part and sew on our padding felt. with small stitches. Make sure that your felt is in the middle. As you can see, I leave here open, open felt. Now I will take a bit of filler and I will need to fill it in to the felt. I will help myself with small scissors. and close it with the thread and needle. Sew it on till the end. Now our this part is a bit up, like uh, we have, we added volume to our head. Like that our embroidery will be nice and beautiful and we will have some layers on our head as you can see I don't know can you see it well but we have a bit of volume here and it will help us to make our brush very interesting and beautiful this part is ready secure your thread here and after every step you make if in next step you will be unhappy with your embroidery you always can cut the thread and start it again and be sure that all previous steps are secured. Our next step we will start in the middle from here and it will be. We take soft metal wire I will make it straight here it should be straight and perfect measure 
how big your piece should be. Usually it's around one centimeter. And cut as many pieces as you need to cover this part. And sew it on. We will sew on our metal wire first of all to the one side and then to another side. Always pull a bit. Your wire should be perfect. No. You should not have this kind of elements. If you have, you just cut them away and continue. One piece next to another. When you are next to the end of this row, make wire smaller. And last one here. I will measure and I still need it smaller so I will make it smaller and now other side come out next to the middle and do the same as we did on this side Now I will secure my thread, as I always do. I will make my thread double and will start to sew on crystals and pearls. I just take tail of my thread, make a knot on it. Secure it one more time.
we have to plan where will be our main elements. One of my crystals will be here and one will be here. Take a crystal, place it where you want, hold it and see it on. I will pass through the same holes two times. This part is always my favorite, as I really enjoy to show on freshwater pearls and crystals and everything. It's my favorite part in creating jewelry, in creating brushes. Here I will show on freshwater pearl. You can sew on crystals and beads as you like and as you feel will be better. But for nice and beautiful result, use different shapes, different sizes of seed beads and beads and crystals. Like that, your embroidery and your piece will be very unique and interesting. Now I take Preciosa pearls, sew them on as well. I always sew on big elements first and then small gaps. I fill in with the small gemstones or seed beads. It depends. Depends how big space I have in between beads. My thread now became too short. I will sew on my last pearl. We'll secure my thread and we'll take new double thread. Continue sew on my pearls and crystals. As you can see now in this small piece of embroidery. I already have a freshwater pearl, light blue preciosa pearl, dark blue preciosa pearl with a bit of greenish sparkle and white and all of them are five millimeters. And if you purchase kit from my shop you get all of them with your kit. I need to add some crystals. This is opaque crystal. Be careful here because we have metal wire which can grab our crystal as well. Don't forget to pull but gently not to damage our embroidery. 
check that it is on the place. I will add a okay, crystal here as well on the top. Then four millimeter bike and crystal go here in the middle. This way. Here I will add white zircon beads. To add more sparkle our embroidery here as well here I will add small gray crystal it is three millimeter crystal here in between freshwater pearl and pearl will go to aquamarine crystals bike and crystal four millimeters we will place next to our freshwater pearl Here I will place one more opaque crystal. In between bike and crystal and freshwater pearl, I will add zircon beads which are two millimeters because this one's three millimeters. I will take these two tiny crystals and place them in between Baikon and Freshwater Pearl. As you see, I always I work with double thread. Here I see as well little gap. I will place two millimeter zircon bead. Here as well. Here I will place small four millimeter precious apparel. between here I will use aquamarine stone as well as in these gaps as well I will use blue aquamarine stone In the smaller gaps, I will take two millimeter zircon stone. In bigger gaps I will use zircon but 3 millimeters. And as well blue aquamarine stone.
I will use Czech seed bees as well. I will add it here and there to cover all our felt in between crystals and stones. Seed beads are size 10. I will add a few more seed beads where I think it is necessary. There is no exact rules where should be your seed beads and everyone makes different stitches and maybe you will need less materials or more and more stitches than I have but I'm sure that you will have a great result as well. Sometimes I add even two seed beads straight away, not just one by one. We almost finished with our embroidery. I will just pass through some beads and pearls one more time to secure them better. I make sure that all beads are on their place as well and secure. And I will secure my thread. Don't worry if your embroidery go, if your felt goes a bit down, that's absolutely fine because this part will be we will cut cut it out and we will attach here metal leaf and the cardboard and everything will be straight and perfect as you can see here. Next step will be just come out in the middle and a bit down like in between our horse eye crystal and pearl take pom pom enter inside it if you have received this kind of pom pom you can go straight away through it this way and and pierce the felt if you have received this kind of four pom pom or you find it somewhere you just need to cut this paper out with the scissors all around and you go through it up and down you don't go if here we are touching only only threads from, from here in this kind of pom pom you will need to go up and down all the true pom pom as I did here let we continue with this kind of pom poms again fierce again you might need help yourself with pliers be careful with your fingers in this moment don't rush do it very carefully and slowly Again, 
میخواد try to leave this pom pom as fluffy as possible and in the meantime you have to secure it very well again And last stitch. And our broider is finished. So we secure our thread. And I will cut it. Next we need to cut out our embroidery. Leave at around one millimeter from each side. You always can turn and cut it from the back. Like that you will be sure that you don't cut threads. Hold pom-pom this way, that you don't cut pom-pom as well. And cut it out. leave a, a bit more on the top here where is our pom-pom be careful Now we will finish the back of our brush. For it, you will need a cardboard, eco leather, leather, felt, or synthetic leather, brush pin, glue, and here I have metal leaf, or you can use a simple metal wire, uh, what you use for wrapping. It looks like this. It's quite soft and the diameter here is one millimeter. But to easy up our life, I will use this kind of metal leaf. I will place it this way, so our brush will be hard and will keep this shape. I will make a couple of stitches to secure this leaf to our head. For it, take a double thread. And we just sew the sleeve to the head. My leaf is attached, now I secure my thread and cut it.
take our pattern cardboard or thick paper round our pattern to the paper or cardboard make it a bit smaller and cut it out Take a glue, it should be a flexible glue like Moment Crystal or E6000, super glue is not good for, for the brushes and glue it inside our brush to hide all the threads. Be careful here with the glue. Work always on the beading mat to be sure that your crystals and pearls won't be damaged while you are pressing our cardboard inside the brush. Then take our baking material silver pen or pencil and just circle our brush this way just we need it to find where we will place our brush pin place the pin near to the top of our brush mark places where we will need to make a cut I'll show you how it looks so one should be here and second dot will be here Fold it this way, make sure that they are on the one line, take scissors and make small holes. Then open up a bit these holes this way, just a bit. Then take our brush pin and insert it to the holes. If you see that the holes are still small, take the scissors and make them a bit bigger. But not too big. close it this part should be hidden like that is very nice and neat now take a glue and put the glue to the brush pin from inside here make sure glue goes under our brush pin then Put the glue and to the brush as well. Be very, very careful on this step.
hold our pom pom and connect these two parts together. Press. Then go to the back side and check that our pin is in the middle of our head and next to the top of our brush. This is just perfect, so we just press from both sides. The two all parts stick together very well. Now take a scissors and cut out our embroidery leave at around one millimeter then after we can connect our parts together be very careful here with our foot make angles more round like that it will be easier to finish the edge And now we will finish our edge with seed beads. Take a needle and single thread. Secure this thread inside head, inside the, our brush, by passing through the same spot a couple of times. And then come out from the felt and I will come out from the felt from the inside of our head like that I will secure better our metal wire and our edge I think still I have to cut a bit extra from my leather I think it's too long this way and we start take two seed beads size 10 or 11 in color which you think suits to your embroidery better two seed beads then enter to the closest to you seed bead from the bottom first seed bead is unattached we will attach it in the end next step will be one seed bead pierce leather and felt and enter to the same seed bead from the bottom and pull again one seed bead 
spheres and enter through the same seal bit from the bottom. Okay. Your step should be equal to the seed bead. Again, pierce. Pierce again to lay two layers. And enter through the same seed bead from the bottom. Pull. Again. Continue the same till you get to this point. On the angles here, you just enter to the same hole as previously, and like that, we will make a turn which will as well look very neat and nice. One more seed bead, enter next to this last hole, very next to it. And see what we're seeing it. As you can see now, our turn is very neat. And from the back side, we have two seed beads coming out from the same hole. And we continue as previously. This part with pom pom can be a bit tricky. Hold all four and continue to work. Just be careful with this four not to sew it on our to our brush. And leave it as fluffy as possible. We are almost finished our edge. We are next to our first seed bead. That seed bead which is not attached to the felt. Enter to the seed bead from the top. Then pierce our materials and 
and enter to the same seed bead from the bottom and pull then enter to the next bead now we will need to weave our thread here and there a couple of times to secure and cut it In this kind of pom-poms there is a thread inside them if uh, when you sew it on you have this thread visible you just cut it here is a uh, one tip on this step if for example you want to add more seed beads uh, because after you finished everything you see some felt visible or you are you want just to add more details to it like cover a bit more of with seed beads or anything what you what you want you can do on this step because your thread is still there and so you can add uh, some seed beads as well but always secure edge first and then add everything what you need in my case I don't need to add anything everything is covered and I'm very happy with the result so I already passed a couple of times here and there, my thread is secure and I can cut it. I really enjoy this moment when my brush is ready, when I cut the last thread and I can enjoy the result, as you can see from the back side. It's very neat and nice and from the front side as well. Our pin is working well as well and we have metal leaf inside like metal base and when you open our pin brush is not bending and in the meantime it is not heavy. This kind of hats now I have in my collection Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and have a lovely day! Bye!